Why do unconscious people at many times seem more aware than conscious people when it comes to one's potential? When it comes to emotions and the psyche uh, and especially about opinion. See, when I look at unconscious people, well, people call them bots, people call them whatever. See, artificial intelligence that people are talking to you today and threatening you that will replace you. Well, it can replace humans if they don't do anything. But artificial intelligence is nothing but a code that constantly repeats itself. It is the exact same as um, unconsciousness within humans. It is technically the same language. Now, it doesn't mean that you as an unconscious human function based on C++ or JavaScript or whatever. It's just that the coding that we create as programming languages is very similar to how the unconscious mind functions. It is just a bunch of code, AI speaking, and unconscious people function the same. They are just constantly and constantly analyzing all sorts of conditions, and they're only executing the code which corresponds to the conditions that are true. The same thing AI does. The only thing that improves about AIs is, well, the patches that improve them, and those are done by us humans. AI is just bunch of, a bunch of code. It's never gonna get awareness. How many billions of years did this planet need to evolve? How many millions of, hundreds of millions of years did we need to evolve so that we reach the heightened sense of awareness that we have? I'm not saying it's higher than other animals, but, well, we do have a certain potential, and if we don't use it, well, we're not going to be any different from the animals. So, unconscious people, see, they constantly compare themselves. They're always aware of this thing. Well, they probably don't take it into account, but they always have to play. They always have to analyze people more or less. And they will instantly feel if someone is above them. Narcissists also feel that, but they don't need to struggle, for example, with feeling that someone is better, because by default, being in uh, victimhood, to them, everyone is somewhat better than them, because the grass is always better on the other side, when it comes to victimization, obviously. And, well, people who feel very bad about themselves, they already have a feeling that someone else is already better, right? Uh, at the same time, energy-wise, if you're of a higher vibration than others, people will easily feel that. They will notice about you, they will notice it, and, well, they will act accordingly. Some people will try to fool you with all sorts of rules and ideas on the law of manifestation and the such that you're manifesting different people in life based on your vibration. See, if you're low vibrational, you'll be drawing all sorts of people. If you're high vibrational, you're gonna draw the same type of people. It's nothing more, nothing less. When you're higher vibrational, people who are also higher vibrational will have a tendency to open more towards you because you are similar to them and most likely you're more aware and you're more capable of understanding some of the issues and some of the things that they're telling you or at least you're gonna take some time to read more to understand better what they're gonna tell you because more or less they're probably ten you, tell you some life advice or some experience of theirs which well will be making life a lot easier for you as a well as an example the more successful you become, the more haters you draw. So don't think that only, you know, low vibrational people attract low vibrational people. Oh, you will see so much hatred when it comes to being on top. And being on top, you know, there's quite loneliness at the top because, well, you have a lot of things to do. You don't have too much time to focus on others. And, well, focusing on you is technically the only purpose of life. If you want to invest into other people, sure, that's always a good thing because we're social beings. But the point is, unconscious people, people who live, you know, just like AIs, constantly verifying all sorts of conditions, they will notice all sorts of things. They will notice patterns because, see, low vibrational people are suspicious. They always want to check people. They always want to compare themselves with other people because they are convinced that people are better than them or they are convinced that people are worse than them, depending on how they feel, right, if they're narcissistic. Well, technically, they are above everyone else because, well, 
they feel like shit, they feel like the worst of the kind, and they need to create egos and personalities, right? They need to create personas according to which they are the best in the world. So, obviously, they will always have a uh, reason to compare themselves to others, but unconscious people usually, and typically, they are very uh, distrusting, and they will compare themselves constantly. So, they will always think that someone else is different. When they are unconscious, what they know, uh, well, that's how unconsciousness functions. Uh, what you know is the most that can be. So it's, to most of these people, it's a surprise when someone functions differently than the people they have been around. Because once they can't understand something, the curiosity within, you know, the child, the inner child within, aka the curiosity of life, will kick in. They'll want to know more. And that's why they will automatically give more attention to you. Since life by itself, even unconsciously and consciously, has a tendency and will always tend towards that which is better, if you are higher vibrational than the people around you, sooner or later they will lean towards you. They don't have to show it to you, but you will definitely attract their attention because you are higher than them, right? People go to a temple because they expect good things to happen. People follow people who can lead better because, well, they need guidance. So there is always a tendency for the better. So if you're wondering why unconscious people uh, can be at times more perceptive than the others, well, it's very simple. That is what they are, right? What they think is what there can be. What they know is the only thing that can be. There is no more, no less. And when you become more aware of emotions of a different level, of a higher, higher level, you have to get used to those things. So you will go through all sorts of turmoil, emotional turmoil, confusion, uh, misjudgments. Am I doing things right? Am I doing things wrong? Meanwhile, the unconscious people will still function the same way they did. So they're becoming better and better at their own level. While you have to get used to certain things, and especially if you go on the path of knowledge, the more you learn, it's quite amusing and in some cases frustrating. The more you learn, the less you realize that, well, the less you know. The more you realize that actually you know so little. And when you broaden your awareness of that, well, people who once were important to you feel less and less important because they no longer share your values. They no longer like to be distracted by the same things. You no longer want to be distracted by the same things as them. Well, most likely they will keep enjoying that. So again, you will have to constantly get more and more adapted to different things. While people doing the same thing again and again, they'll probably be, well... Uh, more proficient at being dumb, being constantly suspicious and constantly comparing themselves with others. When some people are talking about things that they're doing and obviously unconscious people aren't, well, there will always be a curiosity. There will always be a leaning towards and, well, depending on the amount of misery within, there will also be some spite and such. Obviously, haters will try to pull you down, but you know how haters are. They will always try to pull you down, but kind of always end up being your loyal followers. Because while you're, if you are a streamer or something like that with great success, you will see that the people who will show up most often are the closest ones, but they may not show up always. But you will see that haters will pop up. If you don't ban them, you will see that they will always pop up. It's like they are your raving fans, right? And that's how unconscious people are. They will constantly be attracted by that which is better because that's a tendency of life and unconscious people will simply function by those unconscious uh, guidances right because unconsciousness well it's just like the autopilot of machines well it was made to simply function in all sorts of possibilities similarly this body was functioned was designed to function in any case of possibilities when your awareness is missing when you're in the backseat of your life so these being said, well, hopefully this video was introspective, take care, and, well, enjoy life, have an awesome day, Ferenjan Board signing out.